Hello, welcome back to KL Gamers. Today we will be playing some game on the Xbox One X. Today I have downloaded so many games from the Summer Game Festival. Okay, today we will be playing Lake Demo. Let's play. Welcome to Providence Zooks. Thank you for playing the Lake Demo. This game is in its final stages of development. Uh, you may encounter some performance issues or bug here and there. Having said that, enjoy the game. Lake is scheduled to be released September 1st. Okay. Settings. Window mode full screen gameplay. Sound language controls. Okay, new game. Loading. Oh, what's this? It is funny how a program designed to help organize your life. Okay. Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress free weeks in a good old Providence Oaks. Sunday, August 31st, 1986. It's funny. Oh, okay. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah, but, uh... Do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Steve, miss you. Oh, Providence, Oregon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to... This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park, with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Exit the mail truck, okay. Walk around. Walk to the mailbox. Okay. Deliver the mail. Okay. Look around. Okay. Sorry. Closed. Huh. Gas station, eh? 
We walk back to the mirror crop. Any cars? No, no cars. Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Can we walk faster? No. Really? You have to walk this slow? No, you can't walk faster? No. Okay. You know what I really like about watching baseball? Not missing the first pitch. Okay. To enter the mirror truck. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Whoa. Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Oh, huh, okay. Exit. Um, get the mirror from the back. Oh, select parcel. Uh... To get the correct parcel. Walk to the front door of the house. Can I jump? No. <laughs> Deliver the parcel. Ring doorbell. Nope. No answer. Draw package. Hope nobody comes and steals this. Okay. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Of course. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that. But you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Hmm. Walk to the front door of the house. So I'm um, one zero two, eh? Okay. Mm, we have a dog house. What's the name? Binky. <laughs> okay. Press A to enter your parents' house. Loading. Wise residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Oh, nice. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Okay, it is faster now. Tuesday morning, September 2. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. 
Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Okay, walk to the mill truck cabin door. Okay, okay. Let's go. Hmm. Right button to open and close the map. Oh. Right trigger to drive. This is like a very slow no gun GTA, you know? Okay, where to go? Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Zoom in, right trigger. Okay, do we have the uh, mail here? 103 Main Street. Okay. Plus three point. Really? Let's try this. Is it here? Is it one zero three? Oh, uh, this is one zero one. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try this. One zero three. Okay. Let's see. One zero three mailbox. Delivery mail. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's do a waypoint here. Let's go. I'm actually enjoying this. I guess it's okay. Very slow paced GDA. <laughs> One zero two, right? Okay. No, not this one. Hmm, let me check. Zoom in, zoom out. Ooh. One zero two, Lake Road. Yeah, it is one zero two, yeah, correct. Why I can't deliver? Oh, okay. Okay, let's move. I think at the front there is a one zero four. Wow, this takes me back. 
takes you back, really. <laughs> 200. What? <laughs> hey, why are you guys waiting for me, eh? Crazy? Now it's time for some GDA 5. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. Oh, I can't talk. Hmm. Okay, let's move. Let's see, what's on the main list? Uh -huh. Parcel 200 lick Road 200 lick road Okay Okay, let's go out 200 lecro Open 200 lecro Well hello there big cuddly guy it's 200 leg room. Hello. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? <laughs> Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith, what? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. <laughs> two, two years to be exact, but who is counting her? It is Meredith wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Twenty-two years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> okay. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. <laughs> you do remember me, don't you? Of course, you're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Je Mildred Jenkins? I'm sorry, but I really don't. Of course, you're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it is a toy bear. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? <laughs> I know Frank would never feel up the packages. Oh. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. <laughs> I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. 
That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Meow. <laughs> oh, the game froze. Oh, no. Really? Oh my god, the game froze. Oh, it's okay again. Oh my god. So many cars waiting for me. Hey, hey. Hello. Can't say anything. Okay, what's next? One Bear Creek, eh? Where is Bear Creek? Oh, Bear Creek. Bear Creek and we have uh, 300 Lake Road. Let's place a waypoint here. And get back to our truck. These guys are very patient, yeah? <laughs> and so am I. Let's go! Car service, eh? Okay. Oh, it's a package. Okay. 300 leg road. Okay, this one? Yeah. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Oh. Hello. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? <laughs> Aren't you a little too young to be a mechanic? Aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> all right, all right, I promise. All right, all right, I promise. Good, perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. What? It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Uh, okay. Thanks, Lori. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Give it a bang. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay. What is next? Let's see. Hmm. This one, Bear Creek. Place waypoint here. 
First Bear Creek Letters. Okay. Why to toggle radio, really? Lumberyard. Okay, exit. Okay, you got mail. There's a new face. Who? Oh, a rest site for a scheduled lumberyard. Yes, indeed. As for today, I will be delivering the mail. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Wow, really quick, eh? Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good? Crap. Crap. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap okay that sound can be worse than the smell hey the sound can't be worse than the smell I'm sorry but I have to take a better look at this have a nice day all right bear Craig eh? mm, what the fuck Very <laughs> slow pace game. Wow, you're flying. Okay. That's rock. Three point turn it is. Okay, what? Where shall we go now? Okay, let's see. I'll zoom them out, zoom in. Okay, we gotta go to 500 Lake Road. 500 Lake Road. What is this? Woods. Okay. Zoom out. Okay. Service station. Zoom in. Zoom in. Where is. 500 Lake Road. Oh, 500 Lake Road is very far. And uh, we have General Saw. Okay. I think that's all. Two more parcels. And we are good. Okay, let's do this. Set the waypoint. And out. Hmm. 
Whoa, there are cars here. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Tunnels, eh? Whoa. Oh, I'm driving very fast. Oh, what's this? Hmm, Oregon Trail Motel. <laughs> Oops. Let's see what we have here. Oregon Trail Motel Office. Oh, you're playing games. Let's see. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> What? He's ignoring me. Oh my god. Okay. Nice, nice lake. Ooh. Ho ho. Okay, we arrive at Oops. <laughs> Mills Diner. Okay. So I think this one is a parcel. Five hundred leg road. Okay, Moon's Diner. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Ah, uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Oh, well, hello to you too, Maureen. 
Wow, Maroon, long time no see. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. <laughs> oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. <laughs> but Maureen, I do have work to do, you know. Okay, one quick drink then. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Mm. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I want you. I will not take no for an answer. Oh. This is like I'm 17 again, Maureen. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Oh. You have one almost every afternoon after school at one point. You know me too well, Maureen. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Mm. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. What? <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Mm. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Mm. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right. Oh, you're walking too slow, Mardi. Walk faster. And get into the car. Okay. Alright. A slow GTA. This is what this game is. Okay, let's see. Where do we go now? The last general stop. Place we point and we are out. We point, we point. Not this road. This road. Hmm. The sound is a bit weird here, you know. No sound. Okay. Hmm, it's a bit slow. And we are there. Hmm, what's the first street, eh? Let's say what's the all this day? Two zero seven Main Street. Two zero seven Main Street. Hmm. At the front of there, Main Street, 207. General stop. Okay. 
This one is a parcel as well. Hmm. That's lighter than I thought. Okay, where's the door? Where's the door? What? The door at the side? No, oh, actually it's the corner. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Hmm, mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. <laughs> Actually, this is only temporary. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. Mm. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Maybe. Return to the post office. Return to the post office. Uh huh. We are back. Where's residence? Tuesday evening. Ha ho! Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. Mm. How are you? How's the job? Hi, ma'am. I'm doing great. Hi, hey, Mom. I'm alright. The job is okay, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Oh, I can imagine that. How's that? It must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. Mm. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Mm -hmm. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. Okay, let's try a red book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? <laughs> Wednesday morning. Okay, thanks for watching. We will continue next time.